This segment is powered by The Gun Store. Want to shoot a real machine gun? Then visit The Gun Store at 2900 East Tropicana in Las Vegas. Dave Fair alongside Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Win number one in the UFC. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. This was a big moment for you, but when you, were, when you were walking out to the cage for the UFC for the first time, it seemed like there was just an eerie calm about you. Yeah, I was just, yeah, yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> Did you feel any pressure coming into this one? N no more added pressure than usual, man. It was just, just, I was going out there to have fun, man. This fight was all about don't try and get in the face, don't get hyped up. Just go out there with a smile on your face and, and do what you do, man. So that's, that's, that's what we did. You've always been that contender. Oh, here we go. This is an interesting moment. Someone's got to lose to mom, mom. Since you guys are here together, there's, there's kind of a controversial moment that happened at the beginning of that fight. Can you give us the yeah, scoop? Man. Yeah, dear, look, uh, that's no disrespect for me. And I've been saying that I to everybody. I've been saying that. I didn't come out. Yesterday, that's the first time I've ever tapped in a fight. Watch any of my fights, I don't tap. Yesterday at the weigh-ins, we made the mutual agreement. Let's earn some money. I tapped and went to work. If, if I come across, like, I've, I've tried to steal it. That's just not my style. Not my style at all. I, I come to fight it. And, and I'll leave it all in there, and you know, it happens. I didn't mean to do that. That's the God's honest truth on, on me daughters. I've been, I've been taking you back the whole time. I said, I, I think it, he just came out ready to fight, and that's, yeah. and that's what it is, so. And I saw what looked like an apology there at, at the end of the fight, and it looked like you accepted. Is that right? Definitely, definitely. He, he also said, you ever want to come and fight, stand up and fight me, come, come and get you some, so, but shit, I, I mean. Yeah, man, he, he hit me with some good shots. You might not see it on there, but. He hit me with some good shots. I'm, I'm in a bit of pain right now, you know what I mean? And the guy fucking, he banged, sorry for swearing. Um, I'm just devastated. If you watch me and Taylor, we touched and went to work. I, I, I thought that was going to be the case tonight. I'm just devastated it wasn't. I, I come to earn money. I always come to leave it in there and, and just be an exciting fighter. That's all I want out of this sport. And, you know... It, the losing doesn't bother me. The, the losing nearly doesn't bother me. Just from the fans' perspective, though, I could feel the energy between you two when you guys came out. You know, you threw a leg kick that landed. You're like, "Come on, give me some more of that." Yeah, man, it's, Bring that shit on. That's a, that's a good... Yeah, I was saying to him I was, while we was doing it, "Let's earn some money." It's you know, th this sport isn't boxing. This isn't a twenty and no fighter goes twenty and no and earns millions of pounds. This is about the spectators and people putting on exciting fights and earning money and. You know, and that's what, that's what we come to do. Just, what can I say? It wasn't my well, Donald, this was win number one for you in the WEC, or in the UFC, coming over from the WEC. Do you feel like you answered a lot of questions as to whether or not... I'll leave it to you to interview. Guys, again, don't take me, don't take me wrong enough, and they shall punch. Uh, I know you're kind of short on time here, so I'll just ask a couple more questions. But now that you're in the UFC, the monkey's off your back, so to speak. How long do you think it's going to be until you can really establish yourself as a contender? I'm not in any hurry, to be honest with you, man. I, as long as they keep giving me fights, just stack them up. That's all I want. I don't want to wait six months. I want to let's go again. Let's go. Let me fight with Leonard in Seattle. You know what I mean? So I, I'm going to stay ready, and hopefully I'll just be that guy they call on short notice. Well, congratulations again. Nice to see that little moment right there. And can't wait to see you again in the UFC. Yes, sir. Yeah, buddy. I'm here at the gun store, and I'm ready to lock and load. They say what happens here stays here. So how about something you'll never forget? This is the adult Disney World right here. Like hitting up the shooting range just a few miles off the strip at the one and only gun store. I've never shot a gun before, yeah, so... Uh, this is going to be great. You're going to yeah. like learning to drive at the Indy 500. Turns out, I'm a natural. Oh, whoa! That is awesome! <laughs> right. <laughs> Machine yeah. <laughs> guns, rifles, block, no weapon off limits. This is probably one of the very few places in the world you can shoot one of these without having someone shoot back at you. Never shot a gun before? No problem. There's no license required by you. You just have to be big enough. Perfect for bachelor or bachelorette parties. Lots of packages to choose from. There's even a VIP range. We give refreshments. It's mm -hmm. private. It's quiet. Purchase your own at the gun store or just stop by for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Come right on down here, we'll put a gun in your hand, you can be on a range in 15-20 minutes, no problem. I love it!